Everyone needs to calm down. This has gone beyond a joke. It's actually embarrassing. My brothers and sisters, this is a test, nothing more. And when Allah tests, Allah tests for us to see where we really are. The test will expose how true we are to our faith and our values and our principles. And unfortunately, we're not doing too well. You look at people in the shopping centers, it is crazy. What are we doing? In a time like this, we are supposed to be turning to Allah more than ever before. We are supposed to be showing the best side of our manners and our patience and our qualities. This is the time, my brothers and sisters, for giving, for caring, for preferring others over yourself and your own family. This is true deen. These are the true values of Islam. Don't fear this virus, fear Allah. Allah says in the Quran, and whosoever fears me, then Allah will provide an exit out of any and every difficulty in life. Where is our trust in Allah? Where is our reliance in Allah? Allah says in the Quran, and whosoever relies on Allah, then Allah shall be sufficient for him. What happens when your provisions run out after a week? Who's going to look after you then? Our faith is in Allah and Allah's Rahmah comes down through what? Through charity. When the strong look after the weak, when the rich looks out for the poor, not every man for himself. People are taking advantage. Business owners are exploiting the situation, increasing prices on one another. What does this show? If you think that the virus is bad, what about these evil sicknesses that are in our hearts? Where is our compassion? So please, my brothers and sisters, now is the time for unity more than ever before. The Prophet wasallam says, none of you will truly believe until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. And now is the time to show that faith, to prefer others over yourself. This is deen. This is what brings the pleasure and the mercy of Allah, not being selfish. We need to take all of us together collectively. We need to take this virus, they say in English, take the bull by the horns. And we need to take this virus by the horns. And the only way we're going to deal with it is to turn back to Allah only. Look how Allah is showing His greatness and His power through one virus. The world has been crippled. So now more than ever, we need to turn back to Allah. If we feed Allah like we feed this virus, Allahu Akbar, the change. We need to turn back to Allah, my brothers and sisters. Tawbah, to make repentance. Istighfar, to seek forgiveness from Allah. We need to come back to our core values and principles, charity, preferring others over yourself. This is deen. And lastly, it is a duty upon every single one of us that we spread calmness, stability and harmony in our community. And Allah knows how much we need this now. So my brothers and my sisters, every single thing you share on your phone, you will be held responsible by Allah. People are sharing content. They don't know its authenticity. They don't know where it came from. We're just sharing for the sake of sharing and we're increasing in the havoc and the chaos. No, in the best of times, we're ordered by Allah to verify any information that we receive and share. You can only imagine in a time like this. So pranks, jokes, even if it's things that are unnecessary, don't share it. Please, we need to wisen up. What you may think is a joke in your, in your house, in your bedroom or amongst your friends, it can cause havoc to others. And we don't cause havoc. I ask Allah to bring much needed peace and stability 
and allow us to deal with this test in a manner that pleases Him and in a manner that it only brings the best out of us and not the worst.